though, we're, uh, we're now going to talk about Meghan and Harry. Uh, there was a polo match uh, they took uh, part in in uh, Miami. And uh, we've got Angela Levin, royal correspondent here, uh, to talk about that. And there will be other royal stories as well. So what have you picked up from this, uh, this polo match? Well, the, the interesting thing is, is that it, the polo thing that's going to be photographed and filmed for Netflix, this is Harry's one. Yes. But there was Meghan centre stage and um, she stood there with holding the treasurer. Yes. And um, actually who she pushed around was a doctor, Dr Sophie Chankuka, who's chair of Santabli, the charity that they're doing it for. And she was asked if she would take the trophy. And she said, yes, that's why she came, because um, the money from the polo match is going to this yes. charity. Huh. And, and um, Megan had to push her out of the way because she wanted to be in the middle. I've never heard such a disgusting, rude thing to do. But do we take away from this, um, and we talk about this woman in many situations over, over a few years now, that at the end of the day, she's an actress. She knows how to take centre stage. Yes, but this was... Um, Bullying, you know, she... Actual physical she went, pushed she, her. No, she didn't actually physically push her, but she wanted to go next to Harry because it was her charity that they were worth yes, paying yes. for. And she said, mm, mm, and she didn't move. And, she, mm, mm. and so she bent down under the trophy and then went the other side of Megan and then she's all smiling. Now, I mean, that turns my stomach, actually. Yeah. I mean, anybody would know that that's not appropriate. But it gives her the power of the picture, doesn't it? Yes, but she shouldn't be in the middle because she's got two things that she's doing for Netflix and she's talking about food and household and friendship and um, making your friends and arrangements and cooking, all that. She, let Harry have a little thing of his own. He scored the goal that made them win. And you'd think it, she would be really pleased. Mm. He pecked his lips, he pecked her lips. It wasn't actually a great passionate kiss, as the paper said, because it didn't last more than a second. Um, and I just, I just felt, you know, it, it's just crushed him to mm. nothing, really. Well, her brother is among those who are lining up to uh, rib her and, and, half and attack her half-brother um, yeah. in his YouTube channel. There he is sporting a wig, pretending to be her. Yes. Um, he's been criticised for trolling. Oh, there's also a, a pillow stuffed well, up his T-shirt for some Markle reason. Well, Thomas is, you know, a difficult character. He's now 57 and you wouldn't think he would do such a childish thing. So, he says he's got it on YouTube and he's got over 36,000 followers. So he's very determined. And he said that, you know, if she's got the right for free speech, so have I. But that's not really free speech. I mean, whatever my feelings are. Was it parody or... Mm. Well, it's, it's just silly child. Well, it's family. I mean, it's yes. shocking well, I mean, that... I think she's treated her family very badly, apart from her mother. And I think he wants to get back. I think he's very frustrated that he can't actually say anything or do anything himself, and he wants to put her down. But I don't think that's the way to do it. I mm. think that's awful. I mm. think it's really... It's, it's, it's terribly childish, actually, to try and do that. So they're up and running again. Um, we thought that their, their TV deals had uh, bitten the dust and whatever, but Netflix have come to them again and said, right, we will resurface with you two, and these are the roles that you've got. How did they divide up the future contract? How is it? Well, cool. Megan is the one who's going to be at home, the guru is at home, and um, Harry is going to do talking about polo, and we're going to know about polo, how exciting it is. I don't think he'll touch on how it's supposed to be the most sexy mm. um, game, uh, but uh, there's a lot of that around, but I don't think Harry would dare to say anything about that. But he, she, he's not necessarily going to be around Megan. She's mm. going to do this. She's going to tell us all how to do it. But... Um, one of the problems why she's put it off for so long is that people don't want to buy into it, saying, yeah. you know, who wants to be like Meghan?
Mm-hmm. So do you I think, think do you think there will be a reunion? He's back in the UK, isn't he, for his Invictus Games um, next month, um, and there are other dates in the diary over the summer. Um, we know that he flew over when he learnt the news about his father's cancer, and apparently, if you believe what's re- written in the papers, uh, the king is trying to play peacemaker between the brothers. Do you think there's any chance of a I reunion? I don't think he's necessarily trying to make peace between the brothers. I think he knows he's got to look after himself. Is trying to do as much as he can for the country at home, meeting people and dealing with all the paperwork. Um, I think Camilla will not let Harry <coughs> stay. Excuse me, you. sorry. <laughs> I don't think uh, Camilla would let him stay on his own with Harry. She was there when he came for the 15 minutes when he knew that he'd had cancer. I think that he's actually got an awful lot to do. And, um, and William will be not interested at all. I mean, he'll still be caring for his wife and the children. And I think all this is wishful thinking. Mm-hmm. I'm just Can reading... I just tell you mm. about um, Harry and Meghan's um, thing that they're doing at the moment? They're um, both of them doing uh, looking into election misinformation towards when the uh, election comes. Right. Now, this is not allowed for a, a prince of a, you, the UK to do that in America. This is what they're doing. Amer- um, Meghan originally had Obama's PR team in 2020 because she wanted to start doing that. She worked with Gloria Steenum, cold-calling voters, mm-hmm. and was told not to do that. She's now 90, Gloria. And now she's doing all this about something called deep fake onslaught. And that is when you put different heads on people's faces and they're going around and doing all that. And a lot of Americans are absolutely furious because why are they getting involved? She can't help herself. But does she also have political ambition? Well, I think she does, but she won't get anywhere because she's not while she's got her title and she's hanging on to the title for dear life. Yeah, yeah. It's very important that mm. she wants to stay with that title. Because it's worth it. money to her, isn't it's it? It's worth money. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's what's actually very important to her. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, I just think the audacity of it is ridiculous, really. OK. Angela, thank you very much indeed for, for that insight. We've got to leave it there. Thank you.